the initial screen of uh, APD. So here we have given description of the APD and uh, double click on the data source. So this uh, uh, window will open for the data source. Here we have a query. <coughs> we have to give a query. So we give the description of the data source. Now you have to uh, choose a query. There is a button called choose query. By navigating The but are these group. queries? I mean, oh, okay. They are data targets. So here we are going from a, a Bex view, right? When we go from Bex view, uh, there will be queries uh, when you drill down to the cubes. So here, this is the query available. So you have to continue with that, and you get the information of the query. So here. You you have to continue with this. So now the query is uh, a, in a data source. So now the data target we have to get the data target. So that is uh, so here data target we will get by. I mean selecting DSO here you have ZAPD underscore DSO so which we created yesterday it is a direct update DSO and uh, we have selected that and so overwrite complete content is the option continue this so we have a source in the target now. Now mm -hmm. we have to link between source and the target. For example, if we take transformation filters here, here there is a filter. So when you double click, you will see, for example, if you map this, we are not mapping this, but uh, say we map this, then when you double click it, you will get the mm -hmm. uh, available fields and uh, when you when you pass on the filters you want mm -hmm. for example you want to uh, filter on uh, customer ID and uh, you want to give the value some uh, 1 to C0001 to 10 1 to 10 or 15 it will filter that value So it will only get 15 records according to the customer ID. So for that purpose filter can be used but uh, we don't need it. Here uh, like that we have routine. You have a app routine here. When you give a app routine you will be able to write a routine for this coding again we don't uh, need that complex because uh, we are just uh, downloading the query data so we will have a uh, source fields here we will have target fields here which we which we want to load for example and uh, uh, here there is a routine so we have to write a routine here coding for uh, I mean uh, to select the data so that is the use of routine generally if, if you see the I mean uh, I have I have worked on Xerox so there's a you know about Xerox Xerox, Xerox uh, company which uh, invented the uh, mouse in 1950s it is an American company it is from uh, San Francisco I guess 
so headquartered in america it is a very big company and uh, it is a uh, i mean printing machines like uh, i mean xerox machines company photocopying machines so uh, i worked there and they they actually do all the data in uh, flat files in uh, such scenarios uh, what you have to do is uh, sometimes you have to get the data from flat because they have uh, all the customers data in uh, excel sheet so uh, you get the uh, data to the direct update dso and then uh, you have to get that information to the cube along with the other transaction data and then uh, you have to report on that so for such purposes it is very useful uh, apds and you can put them on uh, a post chain as well so here we map direct mapping this is called direct mapping from source to destination and when you double click on the rules you have uh, rules here here for the source characteristic for the source customer id we have to give target a customer id for the direct mapping here in the query there is no invoice number as we have seen before so i am giving it constant value zero so here for material number we have a material number here in the target as well so we map it so from the target we have a bill amount so you go to bill amount from the source double click it and uh, profit of sales you go to the fields of the source there is a profit of sales here another thing here you can see that there is a currency field and there is a unit field and this is different from normal field when there are key figures there are four key figures here one is bill amount one is profit from sales one is material cost and uh, mm. material quantity for this purpose for every key figure it has a uh, it has given one currency field for the bill amount there is a currency field and for the profit currency field is there for material cost there is a currency and for material quantity there is unit we only want one unit of currency in the target so uh, we can take any uh, currency field and one unit field so here you, you should not uh, confuse with the normal object and the field currency field mm. mat cost continue with that you have material quantity there is a currency field and unit of measures you have to go for the currency field for example i am taking one currency field any one and pass on to that and for units there is only one unit field so i am taking that and pass it on so here now it is ready and uh, you have to activate this now you have to give the apd a technical name so it is asking for the package this is for task is created so generally when you create anything it will ask for the package if if it is standard i mean transport and if it is vw transport it won't ask for the package all the objects will be returned to the default ones that is the default package is dollar temp 
TMP. So in uh, in case if you want to uh, later, uh, if you want to, uh, I mean uh, import, export it, release that request. In that case, we have to add the package. So, uh, in case if you want to, uh, I mean, transfer it, transport it to the other landscape. In that case, you have to again those objects. You have to add the add those objects to the request, and then you have to release that request. For that purpose, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you have. Uh, uh, we are going to discuss transport connections today. Uh, I guess you got documents for the transport and. Uh, and performance tuning. I guess uh, mm -hmm. I will just mm -hmm. keep it short today because uh, mm -hmm. Anna is not uh, joining us, and uh, we can discuss performance tuning and uh, transportation mm -hmm. and uh, generic data sources. Maybe I mean, hopefully, in this weekend. So here we have to activate this. It is active. Once it is activated, you have to execute this. Mm 